my old kitchen had tile for countertops and if anyone's ever had tile for countertops they know that it's not the best I didn't like it 18 years ago and I just lived with it because it was what was there and as the years progressed the grout started chipping away the t some of the tiles broke on the side things of that nature and about five years ago I told Justin I think we need to get new countertops and I didn't really want to do a kitchen reno because it's stressful so it took me about five years to actually do it this is my new kitchen first we'll talk about the extension of the countertop in the form of a cart which I love because we are able to put produce in here we've got our homegrown onions and garlic down here zucchini cucumbers and then store-bought fruit and I like it because it keeps it close at hand yet it's not on my countertops the whole thing that started this was countertops and so here are butcher block countertops that are wood and I wanted to go as non-toxic as possible so that is why I chose to go with wood countertops because my cabinets were wood I realized if I was gonna do butcher block I was gonna have to change the color of the cabinets so then that led to painting of all of the countertops or the countertops the cabinets new hardware um, new hinges which I'm really thankful that we did because it needed I mean you know the kitchen was 20 plus years old we've lived here for 18 years and so everything was just in time of, um, of a refresh around the sink but I love the wood non-toxicity I ended up going to a granite shop and got um, I went to the remnant section so it's a little bit cheaper when you pick out a remnant because it's not like a full slab and I picked out this Caesar stone I believe is what it's called and I have that now around my amazing new huge sink which I also love and um, I like it because it can get wet and it's I don't have to worry about the water so much around the wood and things like that so I really love it I got a new faucet too and um, a new little soap dispenser and so now we have less stuff sitting on our countertops because this is the dish soap and then we have our hand soap here what are you making with our eggs making fried fish it's cod so this used to be cabinets actually this cabinet over here was here and so I wanted I've always wanted a tile wall I've always wanted that so I watch a lot of HGTV too so I've seen a lot of things and I was like I kind of knew what I wanted and so we actually just, these are floating shelves and they're actually butcher block countertop just cut in half. And then with the holes drilled in them and then they're on a bracket there. So I am loving my new open shelving. Um, I hope to get some maybe prettier dishes than the stainless steel eventually. We're just working with what we have now. And so. I'm gonna talk about your light fixture right here. Well, the lack of light fixtures. So, but beautiful light there, babe. The globes were supposed to come today, but they didn't. So they'll be here next week. And this actually light fixture has been moved from. It was. It was actually like right here. It was like a can light that we had expanded into a ceiling fan, which we never used. So because we re because we put the beadboard on the ceiling we were able to move the light fixture over and put it over the island island peninsula whatever you want to call it so that's exciting and then we're gonna get some seated glass globes to go around these fixtures they came with clear but i want to stick with the, the theme we got a new light over the kitchen sink and this is seated glass so i wanted to kind of stick with the with the theme 
This cabinet is the same cabinet that has always been here. We just put doors on it. Um, we got a, a face plate here and doors, and then we also lifted it up higher. It was lower down. I want to say it was like a couple inches lower. And so we lifted it up, Randolph cut the sides off over there so that it can fit high and it looks amazing. This is where my cast iron pans hang. Before, if you'll remember, I had a shelf here that came from, it was from here over and it was just a little wooden homemade shelf that we had made because the kitchen was so small just for extra storage. And when we took that out, I was like, wow, there's so much space. It feels so open. It feels so much bigger. And so we just tiled the wall down so it's nice and easy to wipe, keep the trash can, the compost bin, the tumbler stays down here, it seems like, too. I wanted to do something kind of up here. Underneath this is a cast iron pan as well. Nice. But we can kind of do double duty with it. How much do you love cod? I don't like fish. Why do you do it? Because you guys like fish. Do you hate us for that? Yeah. I grew up eating fish and I said to my parents, when I grow up, I'm not gonna eat fish anymore. And I didn't for- Cause you've never liked it, ever. I, no. And I didn't for a really long time. And then like when we started getting into health and stuff, Justin and the kids like it, so I make it. This is one of the bigger, larger transformations. The stove used to be like right here. And if you remember, it had a microwave over the top of it, and then this cabinet was over that. So when we moved the fridge out to just have it out of the kitchen for renovations, I started looking around and I was like, wow, there's like so much counter space. And then I started, you know, talking to Randolph and sharing my ideas with him, and he went along with them. <laughs> so we ended up swapping the stove in the, this cabinet, this cabinet was all over here on this side. We just ended up swapping them and I absolutely love it. And it just, I feel like it, it really opens up things here. Another thing, we had the fridge here in this space. This cabinet was over there and now it's here. We just had to shave off a little bit on the side here, on the, on the bookshelf side. But like, we also added a shelf here, which is amazing. And I just feel like I have like so much in here. And because we have the extra space, like I don't have to keep a bunch of stuff on my counter. If you remember before on that little counter, on this little counter, I had like um, utensils. I had all my oils. I had a, a knife block to keep my knives in. And so like, I just am trying to keep as little on the counters as possible, which I'm really loving that look. This is amazing too, because I have this huge drawer, knives, all of our, all of the stuff that we use. Actually, this one's supposed to be in there. Um, all of the utensils that we use pretty regularly are here, which is awesome. Then this is, this is another thing that I love. It's a mess in here, but I will fix that right now. Here. This is all your glass storage. This is all my glass food storage stuff. Um, we have a lot currently, actually. I imagine that's the biggest struggle is that nobody else in the house knows where anything goes. Yeah. Nobody, in here, but you. Nobody knows where anything goes. I believe this, these two things go in this drawer. Yeah. And like, so all of those utensils were jammed in this little drawer, which now only has, well, it's supposed to have another hot pad, but my, my little washcloths go in here. And then this is just my, you guys get to see all my messy, <laughs> my messy folded towels. This is the kid job. The kids help out and sometimes they don't do in a, you know, a job like an adult would do. Um, but 
it got done and that's all that matters. <laughs> it smells like fish. Is, is this right about when you wish we were having fried chicken from our farm? That's Sunday night. That's really it, I think, well, right? Well, talk about your paint job there, honey. Your your blue cabinets with your so, new nabs. Yes, so the painting of the cabinets was a labor of love, I would say. And I really like how it turned out. I'm still not done. Like, there's some... I had to sand that down because it got weird. Um, and I do I have to say that I do notice the dirt a little bit more. Like, there's some dirt right here. Some food It's washable, there. right? But it's totally washable. And, you know, I think in the long run it's going to be really nice. And I'm going to really enjoy um, having painted cabinets. It's very reminiscent of the bus. Mm. The bus, the only, the, the, the one difference Tell the people who the bus is for those that so don't know. So, we went on the Great American Farm Tour. We renovated a school bus. We had maple countertops and blue cabinets. Mm -hmm. um, white walls. White walls. Lots of white. So this is kind of a good little bit of a reminder sometimes of maple. Yeah. Now what about the roof? You didn't speak to the I roof. Did, Look at that. I did speak to the b-board ceiling a little oh, bit. Yeah. That we put it on there and so then we could change the lights around. Okay. But, um, yeah, I'm loving the beadboard. I feel like it really brightens up the space. We are not done. As I said before, we're doing kind of a whole house thing where we're freshening up everything because, let's face it, it's been a while. And I now feel good enough to have the energy to get it done. I actually have hired a painter to kind of come in and finish because I can't do everything. So gardens behind, honey. The garden, yeah. Harvest, planting. Yeah. We fall <laughs> is this was like the absolute worst time to do a kitchen uh, yep. redo, but <laughs> we started actually last February. In my defense, like but it just took a while and like getting all the people coordinated that came in and helped that we that we hired was difficult. And so, you know, it just takes a while. Things take a while. And that's okay, nothing good in life is easy. So I'm just keeping on with that. I absolutely love it. I am very thankful for this redo. I will say that three to four years, I have big plans for this whole space. We're knocking down walls and stuff like that. But Too the next- Too much HDTV? What? Too much HGTV? You've been watching too much HGTV. No, it's called. <laughs> we're going to we're going to save up for a big, big, big renovation okay. with walls getting knocked down, and the kitchen is actually going to be. This kitchen is not going to be here anymore. If if we do this renovation. People are wanting to know what the what what in the world with these uh, okay, shelves so, and that fridge sticking out. Yes. So uh, Randolph is coming back in about three weeks now, and we're going to actually knock a hole in that wall and shove the fridge back into the loft. So we're gonna do that, and then um, the guy that I have contracted to hire, um, he is going to paint the the cabinets and then they're going to be smushed together and we're going to kind of work on um you marrying these two pantries together over the fridge and then things will continue to shift and move around here yeah but yeah i mean as of right now i mean this is done and then now we have to wait for again you know the other person to have room in his schedule to come and finish the, the projects that I've hired him for. And he's gonna do some um, painting in the living room and dining room as well. And then we're just gonna go from there. So it's not complete 100%, but what in life is. <laughs> and so we're just gonna keep on plugging on. It could be as late as mid-October. Mid Where are you gonna put my desk? It was right there. Yeah, the desk was actually where the fridge is. Um, it is, it's still up in the air where it's going to go. It's going to be a, a, a rolly desk, so it's going to be on wheels, and it may be over in the dining room corner, or by the window. By the window, or right here in this space. 
which all that is leaving. Like I have plans, I have lots of plans, y'all. <laughs> it just takes time to get things done. And, you know, cash flow, because this, it always costs more than you think it's going to. And it I It takes actually, a little longer than you think too, huh, Rebecca? Yeah, and it also takes a little bit We wanted longer. it to be a week. How we long want, did it take? We wanted it to be, I Four really weeks. thought it would be one week, and it turned out to You're be. just a positive person. I'm trying to just, you're too positive for a house reno. Yeah, and then like even with the even with the budget, I was like, oh, it's oh, not yeah. gonna be more than this. And then it was more of that. And I feel like I even gave it extra money. But then things popped up and people told me, Oh, once you start doing something, you're gonna do this and this and this and this, and that's kind of what happened. But that's alright. This house will be a house that I love and I look forward to cooking in my kitchen.